good morning welcome back to another weekly vlog i feel like i look like a ghost <laughs> i'm really pale um we've just popped over me and becca have just popped over to see the kitten where is he no. um one last time because her friends come back today um we've just come to give it some cuddles and check everything's all right before they get back um so yeah i'm gonna have some kitten cuddles i've already um had a phone call from the doctor um because i asked for a phone appointment after being ill over the weekend with the antibiotics and he was really nice actually the one that phoned he said that like 30 percent of people with uh, that have erythromycin get the symptoms that i had side effects that i had and he was like i sympathize with you because i'm one of that 30 percent as well um so he's prescribed a slightly different type of erythromycin. Um, I can't remember what it's called. Anyway, so third lot of antibiotics to try to see if they can clear this infection. Um, so we'll see how that goes. But yeah, I'm going to have some kitten cuddles now. <laughs> no, because when you did that earlier, you bit my nose and it really hurt. <laughs> Hello, Star. Hi. Oh, you're so cute. You're so cute. so tiny and thin. Just want one of you to take home because I miss my Jaffa. Oh. <laughs> Excuse me. He, sorry. Keep calling him she. Where are you going? if we just took him home would your mummy notice <laughs> i'm sure she would so i'm just back from seeing the cat um that's our last time seeing it well looking after it anyway like we can see it anytime really um but yeah kind of starting starting the day now a bit um i'm gonna get on with some editing i feel like i'm a bit like all over the place this morning because um, I was up quite early but then trying to sort the doctor's appointment out um, and then waiting for the phone call and yeah it's just all been I don't know my head's all a bit all over the place. Um, what my dad didn't tell me was that on Friday night like my neck had all like swollen up which I wish he'd kind of told me that because it's kind of <laughs> kind of worrying but thankfully it's gone down now so I'm just guessing it was part of the allergic reaction to the antibiotics. Um, I'm just really hoping that this ne next look work and that they don't make me feel like crap. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go and pick those up later this afternoon probably if, if they've got them in. Um, but yeah, I'm going to edit a vlog. I'm putting up, an, up another one for EDS Awareness Month. Um, and yeah, just kind of see how I get on with that really. My only plans for today are I've got a meeting this evening. Um, technically meant to have two meetings I've got a Lib Dem meeting and my mental health group is also tonight um, but I don't think I'm going to make it to the mental health group because I need to go to the Lib Dem one and it depends how long it goes on for but we'll see but I do need to go and get some like milk and biscuits for the mental health group and then my dad will take the stuff down to the room where we hold that um, but apart from that 
yeah don't really have any plans apart from getting on with sort of blog youtube stuff um so yeah i'm gonna try and get a little bit of this done before i have some lunch editing my vlog so it's exporting but I now want to try and get it uploaded um, my mum's just out of a doctor's appointment so once she gets back we can pop down to Waitrose because um, I need to get a couple of bits for the mental health group and I need to pick up my antibiotics from the chemist so yeah it's all fun and games today <laughs> um, but that's that's about it so i managed to get my video uploading and mum and i then popped out to waitrose to get a couple of bits for the mental health group tonight um and also went to the chemist to get my next lot of antibiotics um so fingers crossed that they work because i'm fed up it's like the third lot now and i'm this is well this has been going on since the beginning of the year um didn't get a diagnosis until March time and yeah just treatment hasn't worked so far so fingers crossed they might do something um but yeah but now I'm just sitting on the sofa for a bit I'm gonna watch I need to catch up on Hollyoaks I've missed like three episodes somehow um so I might watch a couple of those um have a little bit of something to eat and then head out for my meeting Good afternoon, I am not having a very productive day so far, um, got up quite late although I did have quite a late night because the meeting I went to last night ran on quite late um, and it's just taken me quite a while to like get myself into anything, well get myself dressed, get myself up, have some breakfast, um, I'm just not functioning very well today um but i'm finally dressed um and i'm going to i want to write a blog post for mental health awareness week i've kind of got a few ideas i don't i'm kind of trying to follow the um like theme for that's kind of been set by the mental health foundation which is body image um but i'm kind of trying to trying to think what to do because i've written a lot for like eating disorder awareness week um, which is kind of around body image and stuff so I'm trying to think of something a little bit different to stuff I've done before um, so yeah I'm going to try and get that done um, and I've got some photos to go with it that I need to edit um, but yeah I just I don't know I need to try and like think what I'm trying to I don't know I can't think <laughs> my brain's not working today um, but yeah we'll see how it goes I'll kind of get on with it and see <laughs> see what comes out when I type. So I've been writing my blog post this morning. I'm kind of getting into like uh, the swing of it now. I just find sometimes like when you know uh, you've got like a topic you want to write about but you've just got a blank page. It's that like getting started and getting some words on the page and then you kind of get going but that like actual yeah getting started is just difficult sometimes. Other times I'll have a blog post and I'll just like I'll, I'll just go for it and I've got all the ideas and they just kind of come out whereas other ones like today's I've kind of got the initial idea but I can't quite see how it's like coming gonna go out so fingers crossed it's going all right I've just had well having some lunch um and been catching up on some holly oaks um I am gonna have this 
for pudding, which is, let's see if it focuses. Yeah, it's a Muller rice, but it's tiramisu flavor. And I think one of my favorite puddings is tiramisu. Um, so I got a few of those from Asda and had one, I don't know when it was last, I had one of it back anyway and they taste really good and they do definitely taste like tiramisu so yeah I've got two left so I'm going to have one now um, and then save the other one for another day um, but yeah if you're a tiramisu fan and you like Muller rice I would definitely recommend them because they are very very good. Um, I'm feeling a bit like I don't know I've started taking my new lot of antibiotics today and um, I don't know whether I'm being like I'm not oversensitive what's the right word like hyper aware of looking for side effects after how ill the last ones made me um, but I don't know I've noticed like this morning I just keep feeling a bit like dizzy like spaced out and dizzy and I've noticed like I've had my palpitations and stuff so I don't know if I don't know, like I've only taken one tablet, I wouldn't have thought it had time to like start giving me side effects, but I think I'm just really nervous about taking them because I felt so ill with the last ones and I guess I'm just worried about that happening again. Um, but I need to take something because I need to get rid of this infection, so I'm just keeping my fingers crossed that this is the time lucky and that these ones will actually work and they won't make me feel like crap. Um, but yeah, just I think I'm just a bit anxious about it. Anyway, I'm going to go and put this Muller rice in the microwave because it's, I think they're much nicer warm, to be honest. Um, have that and then get back to writing some blog, more blog posts. I have so nearly finished my blog post. Um, I literally just need to put a little bit at the bottom um, with some like contact details for support places so I'm hoping I can get that up tomorrow but my mum yeah can't speak <coughs> no I just walked upstairs and I'm a bit breathless um no my mum and I are just going over to my brother and sister-in-law's now because we are babysitting Noah so that they can go out um apparently he's not been particularly good today he's very like wheezy and um, he's got a cough and he's just not really himself so I'm hoping that he will be alright um, but we'll see because obviously when he's not well I mean he's quite I wouldn't say clingy but you know he likes to be around his mum and dad and usually when they drop him off here he does cry for a little bit um, so I'm hoping that he'll kind of settle down once they've gone and Hopefully we can get him to bed and get him a good night's sleep, bless him, but um, yeah, Becky showed me a photo and he doesn't look, doesn't look very happy, poor little thing, but we're going to go around and hopefully get him to bed and just look after him until they get home. We're just back from looking after Noah. Um, he seemed to like perk up a little bit when we got there, he'd had a bit of, um, I think some Puritan and Calpol or something and yeah, he was doing a lot better. Um, still quite like a bit wheezy and coughing um, but he was on good form he was just finishing his dinner and then um, they put in the night garden on and he was doing like a little dance to that which was really cute um, uh, yeah and then when they went we sort of did his bath and got him ready for bed and all that um, and he settled down quite well um, still coughing quite a lot but he was really good so I just got on with um, some bits on my computer and watched the TV and that was about it. I've taken my second antibiotic so we'll see how it goes. I feel a bit spaced out at the moment but it might just be because I'm tired. So yeah, I'm just going to get ready for bed now and I will see you in the morning. Good morning, happy Wednesday. Um, We've got Noah today, he has already had a sleep, he's just got up and he's gone to Waitrose with my mum and sister just to get a couple of bits. Um, I am finally up and dressed, um, feeling a bit, I don't know, just a bit like spaced out and bleh. Um But I've got a massage in about an hour so that would be quite nice and then I think I'm just going to get on with 
finishing my blog post, getting that up, um, and then start editing a video until Noah comes back from his group a bit later. Yeah, it's <gasps> it's yummy. What is it, Miss? Say, yummy, yummy, yummy. Yummy, yummy, yummy. <laughs> that doesn't sound very well to me. It's quite a strong taste, Thomas. You love hummus. Chickpea hummus with sesame seed paste. Cooked chickpeas, water, red seed oil. Okay, you don't have to read out the ingredients, I just want to know what it was. Yeah, it's like chickpeas crushed up. I don't know what chickpea is, so. <laughs> oh, you got such a bad cup. Are you finished? You haven't finished. Got more hummus. Mmm. Mm. Hey, yummy hummus. Daddy. Sorry? Yummy hummus. Oh, wow, 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 wow. You might have something in your mouth. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Bye bye, bye. Becca. Say bye bye. Bye bye. having my massage which was really nice I've had really bad back pain um <clears throat> especially in my lower back kind of going down into my legs similar to sciatica I suppose um and it was quite nice to have a massage the only thing was I got this thing again where like towards the end my face started feeling like it was on fire and I don't know it must just be because I'm lying forwards um but yeah apart from that it was very nice I went to the town council offices on the way home just to sort out some paperwork um to sign to say that i am actually a counsellor um and yeah it's a really really nice day it's like sunny the birds are singing just kind of makes you feel a bit happier when the sun's out um but i'm just gonna have some lunch now and put the telly on for a bit and then i will get back to doing my blogging and editing and stuff <clears throat> unless noah comes home with us i don't know whether he's going to come back or not but yeah, we'll play it by ear. Like on Monday. Brilliant. That's good because I need to speak to you about something else. Yeah. Thank, Thank you. You too. Bye. 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 <laughs> <laughs>
afternoon when Noah got back from his doctor's appointment he's been put on antibiotics and an inhaler bless him but hopefully that will start to help his cough and his wheezing um but yeah when they Lisa brought him around um afterwards and we took him out in the garden and he had a little play on the slide and everything um got some bubbles out which he seemed to really love um and then he had a snack outside and we just kind of sat outside for a bit and had it yeah helped him with his snack and enjoyed the sunshine and it was really lovely um and then once they'd gone i got my blog post up and got that all sorted i kind of hoped i'd get on to starting to edit my weekly vlog but yeah that didn't happen so i might well i'm gonna see if i can do a bit tomorrow um tomorrow i got my group as normal in the morning and then in the afternoon i've got a hospital appointment with my gastroenterologist Okay, I can't even speak. My gastroenterologist. Why can't I say it? Gastroenterologist. There we go. Um, I just always get so nervous about my appointments with her. Um, I think just because I don't know. If, I guess I've got quite a history with her, and I've been through some really, really bad times, um, and not not always had the best like patient doctor relationship with her there's been some pretty horrible times um and that always makes me anxious and just because i don't know my gastro symptoms uh, i just have like i don't know a different kind of effect on my mental health i don't know if it's because of my history with eating disorders as well and they're quite interlinked um in that a lot of my gastro symptoms can trigger like eating disorder stuff um and so yeah i kind of i suppose i put a bit more um i wouldn't say importance but i i get more anxious about getting gastro stuff sorted out because i don't i know what can happen if it doesn't get sorted out like early on and it gets worse and worse um so yeah, I just I do always get really really nervous before my appointments. Um, I mean, I don't really know. I'm trying to think. There's a couple of things I want to go through with her tomorrow. So I'll obviously tell her that I'm still having my swallowing problems, but I have had the test up in London. Um, I'm still trying to chase up getting the results and getting a like an appointment to discuss the results. Um, because I was meant to get one and I haven't and I couldn't get through to the secretary and I've just been ugh, it's just been a bit of a nightmare really so I'm trying to chase that up so there's not a lot my local gastro can do um I was going to talk to her about this campylobacter infection um just because I don't know because I've had it for so long I don't know if it's kind of had any like lasting damage or anything on my digestive system um, I mean, I don't even know, like, I'm, I'm on this next lot of antibiotics, but I guess I won't know until I finish them whether they've worked and whether it's actually gone. Um, so I guess those are the main things. I'm going to mention my hernia to her and just see if there's anything she thinks we can do differently with that. Um, I mean, the rest of the stuff is just same old, same old, like, you know pain and nausea and like sickness and all that kind of stuff which she can't really do a huge amount about unless like unless I get really un like really really unwell and like start losing a lot of weight and stuff but 
like thankfully touch wood it's not at that stage at the moment um you know it's hard work trying to keep weight on and to you know keep as healthy as possible but somehow i'm just about managing it um so yeah just i kind of i think i'll be glad when tomorrow's over i just want to kind of get it done and you know know that it's gone all okay or that you know we've come out of it with something helpful or positive so yeah but now i'm gonna have a bath and wash my hair because i just feel a bit ugh. um after all like not being well over the weekend and stuff so yeah i'm gonna do that and go and get a cup of tea after that and just chill out for a bit before bed good morning i'm just out of my group it it was a bit stressful getting here because there was just so much traffic and a massive traffic jam so i was a bit late but it was what it was um but yeah i had a good group not feeling brilliant i think these antibiotics are making me feel a bit rough to be honest and they're giving me this really horrible taste in my mouth and i no matter what i do the taste just comes back like i brush my teeth i use mouthwash taste comes back I drink something different and then the taste comes back and it's just really I don't even know how to describe it but it's a horrible taste um so yeah don't really know what to do about that but if that and this sort of just bad stomach and feeling generally rough is as bad as the side effects are going to get then at least I can hopefully power through to the end of the course but yeah, um, I'm going to head home now. I've got my appointment with my gastro this afternoon. So I'm feeling a bit nervous about that. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, I need to get home, get some lunch. Uh, see you Noah for a little bit and then head back out again. I'm so tired. <laughs> uh, just, yeah, I want it to be over now and then I can just go home and rest and chill out for the rest of the evening. Look who was waiting for me when I got home. I said stay to Alfie and he went and Noah went stay to your doctor to you. Stay. <laughs> stay. Hello. Stay. Stay. Okay, I'm staying. <laughs> oh. oh. What have you done? Excuse me. Bowie. Bowie. You got no shoes on. Have you had a nice sleep? Should we go inside? Oh. So Becca, go inside. Okay. Come on in. There you are. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. Go, go, go. Do you want to shut the door? Go. 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 You shut it. Yay. Yay. Well done. Yay. Is that it's, it's still... <laughs> Wrong side. Oh. So, can you say, Auntie Jenny, can you lift my lunch, please? <gasps> we can have some lunch. Yeah. Can you say, can you say, please? Yeah. Please, Auntie Jenny. Please? I know it's knocking on all the doors. Now, do you want lunch? <laughs> do you want lunch? Excuse me, do you want some food? <laughs> yeah, say please. Say please. Stick. stick. <laughs> You've stick. taken my stick. Food or stick? It's a bit big for you, isn't it? <laughs> okay, you should use it as a battering ram instead. Ta. Ta. Oh, careful. Stuck. Stuck. <laughs> You got Jenny's stick. Stick. Oh, thank you. Hang on. Thank you. That means Jenny can walk properly now. Oh, is it a lion? Oh, is that for me? Thank you. Stick. Oh, goodness me. Might have to hide that stick. Do you want your lion back? Do you want the lion? Ta? Oh, I 
I don't think you're going to get very far doing that. Let's put that back there and you have the lion. There we go. What's the matter? Come on. Come on then. Oh, are you stuck? That's it, lift your leg. Stick, lift your leg. Well done. Oh, bye. <laughs> Crash. Noah. Look at the way he does it, though. Oh, no. Noah, can you do it with your shoes? Babe. Don't try to tell you where your shoes are. Right, we're done. And then bring them back. Freddie did not like that. No. Should we find your shoes? I'll do a little Where are your shoes? Oh. <laughs> Who is this? He's like, bends right down. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> oh, oh, careful. Say, so, poor Alfie, I'm sorry. Right, where's your shoes? Where do you keep your shoes? Daddy. Daddy's got them. Are they in there? Where are your shoes, Noah? Are you going to come and get them? <laughs> Crash. Right, come on, come and get your shoes. Yeah. Oh, right. Where's the cupboard? Perfect. Where are they? Where's your shoes? This. Come on, then. This. Shoes. This. Can you open it? Yeah. Yeah. Right, where are your shoes? Yeah. That's Alfie's bed in there. Yeah. 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 Oh, well done. Can you take them to Auntie Becca? Go and find Becca. Bye. Oh, bye. 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 Um, he's putting them in his car. <laughs> I don't think they're going to fit. They're too big. <laughs> oh, it won't shut, will it? Yeah. You're going to take your shoes to Becca? Ow. Ow. Seesaw, seesaw. There's one. Two. Two. Yeah. Need <laughs> to work on that. Yay. <laughs> and then. Okay. Scooby dive. Up high. Up high. To the side. Down low. <laughs> oh, you didn't do fast enough. High five. <laughs> <laughs> Noah, do you like my tattoo? Yeah. Do you Some lunch and we've just been playing with Noah. He seems to be in a particularly cute mood today. He's just 
like oh, it's just so funny um and he's like chattering away and yeah it's just really cute seeing him kind of develop and grow up and <laughs> learn stuff um but yeah my mum and sister and Noah have gone out um they've gone to Asda to do some shopping um I've got about half an hour until I need to go out so I'm just going to start doing a bit of editing um and then me and my dad are going to go over to the hospital for my appointment with my gastroenterologist so keep your fingers crossed that it goes okay <laughs> Can I come in, please? You're not meant to knock back. Can I come in? Oh, uh, stay. Stay. Oh, stay. Hello. Thank you. Hello, Hiya. You look like such a cool dude. With your, with your new shoes and your hat. There you go. Been a lot more this yeah, poor little man. Are you a cool dude? No. <laughs> no, 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 no. No, no, no. No, no, no. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> That's it. You do the hoovering. You're in the per perfect attire. You're so good at this. You can help mummy at home. Yeah, I can't get under there. Ow. What's the matter? You've been a Wookiee again. Wookiee. <laughs> Please. Do you want to press the button? No. <laughs> oh, wow. Hi, yo. Hi, Did you get the watermelon? Yeah. We'll put them down there. Oh. Oh. Uh oh. Get some help. Would you like an ice cream? <laughs> oh, thank you. Ice cream? Just so you get the better thing. Wow. Oh. Oh, no. No, no well, look. Oh, he's trying to eat it. Here you go. <coughs> Silly Becca, what's she done? Put it down there. Do you want the ice cream back? What do you want? Banana. 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 Oh! oh. <laughs> How's that happened? Banana. Banana. Where's the other half of the banana? <gasps> there it is. Oh, it, it's broken. Oh. That's why it's stuck to the other thing. Oh, the banana's broken. Would you like a carrot? There you go. Carrot. Banana. 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 So I just thought I would update on my appointment with my gastro doctor this afternoon. Um, I haven't done it till now because when we got home, Noah was still here. So I just said a little hello and had a little play with him before he went home. And then... I was just shattered, so I've been lying on the sofa watching the telly for a bit. Um, but yeah, the appointment went okay. Um, I guess there wasn't really much that I needed her or wanted her to do, which I guess probably helps. Um, but what was it? So mentioned, like talked about my swallowing problems again, and she kind of asked if I'd had the results, which I haven't. I really need to chase. 
that up because I still haven't had another appointment sent through. Um, so I think that was all we talked about with that. And then I told her about this Campylobacter infection and that it's been going on for months. And I'm now on my third lot of antibiotics and I'm just feeling really crap. <laughs> and I think she was a little bit surprised um, and sort of seemed to be quite sympathetic to the fact that, you know, it's probably completely wiped me out having an infection for that long. Um, and also she said that with having, being on so much, so many antibiotics, um, that basically, I mean, even one course of antibiotics can change your, the bacteria in your gut, but she said like being on three lots of quite strong antibiotics, um, it's enough to pretty much change like the makeup of your gut forever. Um, so I was like, okay, <laughs> that's great. Um, but she recommended uh, trying to like sip either some Actimel or some Yakult um, because they've got lots of probiotics in them and it's easier, well one, it's easier for me to take than like more tablets and also with it being a liquid it's going to be easier for my body to absorb hopefully some of those probiotics um so yeah i need to get some of them um that was about it really there wasn't <laughs> there wasn't a huge amount to talk about um because like a lot of the stuff's being done um with my doctors in london um so yeah she basically said that she would see me in six months again and but she does want me to have some blood tests before my next appointment with her just to kind of check what my levels are doing because I have the problems with absorption of uh, yeah absorbing food and stuff she just wants to keep an eye on what my sort of vitamin and or where the blood results are doing so yeah I don't know it felt quite a constructive no what's the word constructive meeting is that a good thing i don't know um basically I, I don't know i felt like she was being she was quite like sympathetic and um understanding which was quite nice and kind of everything that we needed to discuss we did the only thing i didn't mention was my hernia but then I wasn't really sure if it was relevant because it's because it's an incisional hernia and not um, at the moment. It do, I don't think it's well from my understanding. It's not affecting my digestive system. I don't think um, so. I'm going to leave that one for my GP because it is quite painful and I've been getting a lot of reflux. I don't know if that's related to it or not. Um, but I will talk to my GP about that and she can always get advice from like the gastro team if needed but actually I think it would more be like surgical rather than gastro um so yeah I felt quite happy when I came out um and yeah I've kind of told you what I've been up to for the rest of the day right I can just about still say good morning to you I feel very low on energy today <laughs> Um, it's kind of been a bit of a struggle to do everything this morning. Um, well, I haven't really done very much, but it's been a struggle to kind of get up, get dressed, have breakfast. But we're there, finally. Um, I don't have any plans today, like appointments or anything. So I'm just going to get on with some editing and stuff. But first of all, um, I want to take some photos for a blog post uh, for EDS Awareness Month and um one of the things that they're doing or like their focus this year is how long it took you to get diagnosed and they're sort of doing this thing where hang on a minute <laughs> you sort of write it on a piece of paper and then like hold it up um and like in a picture and post that to social media um but i'm also going to use it for my blog post as well so first of all I need to write on a bit of paper in a kind of nice way um, how long it took me to get diagnosed which was 25 years 
um and then i want to well <laughs> i was gonna go and take some pictures outside in the garden um but it's really cold and it's gonna rain soon so i think i might try and do some up here if i can um but yeah i'm gonna get the like bit of paper sorted out first and then get those pictures taken <laughs> some egg fried rice for the first time for my lunch doesn't look like anything special but i'm quite pleased with it it tastes quite good so yeah i might try and like perfect the recipe at some point but it was really quick sorry i have barely vlogged at all today um i've just mainly been in my office doing editing um took some pictures this morning so hopefully i've got some good ones for a blog post um I've just been like taking it a bit easy because I'm quite tired um, but I've finished ed editing my weekly vlog so that's just exporting um, but I'm going to pop out to Waitrose with my mum just go and have a look at the Actimel and Yakult and decide what one I want to get um, and also I need to choose a pudding for Sunday um, but apart from that just going to have a quiet evening Good morning, please excuse my creased jumper, um, I think it's, I don't know, this jumper just seems to crease really easily but I like it so I just thought I'd chuck it on. Um, I was up quite early this morning because I wanted to order the next set of Disney win Wisdom pins, can't speak, <laughs> uh, yeah Disney Wisdom pins and I think I've managed to get them, I had, I've had a confirmation email so I'm hoping I don't know, I kind of feel like you never know until you've actually like got them in your hand, but fingers crossed. Um, so yeah, I got up early for that, had my breakfast and then I was just feeling really rubbish, <laughs> oh, really tired, um, quite dizzy and just not very well. So I actually went back to sleep for a bit um, and I've just woken up, um, I woke up about quarter past 11 um, and I feel, feel a bit better. I am finally going to be doing some tidying in my room today because I don't have any plans until this evening um, and I've been kind of trying to decide like what should I do because there's so many different bits of tidying that I need done um, but I think I might start with my wardrobe because it's just it's getting on my nerves because I've got so much hung on the outside because I can't fit it in um, and it's just yeah it's making me feel stressed just looking at it so it's not really a job i enjoy doing going through my wardrobe but i'm hoping it'll be good like in the end so yeah i'm going to take everything out and then go through each piece and decide whether i still want it whether it i'm gonna do the whole like mary kondo thing whether it sparks joy and yeah hopefully we can make a bit of space in the wardrobe <laughs> Cups and cigarettes laying around the room. I don't mind a little mess, just want to stay with you, ooh, ooh, and we'll do anything that we want. So, this is what the inside of my wardrobe is looking like at the moment. Um, 
I try to like colour coordinate things. I don't know if that's the best way to do it, but yeah, that's kind of how I've done it in the past. But it's pretty full. It's not the biggest wardrobe, um, which is a shame because I kind of need a bigger one. Um, but anyway, yeah, so I've got clothes there and then this mess down here of bags and shoes and just oh i just yeah hate it um so let's see what we can do won't be scared of falling down no more so take me away some other place Right, I've taken everything out. Can I give up now? <laughs> Gosh, that was so tiring. Um, I, oh, this is why I think I don't particularly enjoy doing this job because I find it very exhausting because like, obviously you're having to carry those out um, and then the next thing I'm going to do is work, like go through each piece and a lot of the stuff I end up trying on to see if I still like it. So I keep having to have rest breaks because it just takes a lot of my energy up. Um, and yeah, I just, I don't enjoy it. <laughs> right, I'm going to sort out the bottom of my wardrobe first because it's easier to do when there's no clothes hanging kind of on top of it. So I need to go through all these shoes, um, decide if I still want them and also have a look at the bags and perhaps try and think of a better storage solution for them because having them in there just isn't really working. This is the part you get to where you just think, what have I done? So I've got all my clothes on the bed here. Down there I've got some of the bags that were in the bottom of my wardrobe that I want to keep. Um, I've then <laughs> got shoes here, Ooh, all around here, um, that I want to keep. The wardrobe is currently empty. Um, I've like hoovered out the bottom and everything cleaned it. Um, but yeah, so I've got the shoes here to go back. Um, these little bits here I just want to take downstairs. I'm not a huge Crocs lover, but they're really useful for like if you just want to go out in the garden or something. So I'm going to hang on to those. Um, I've got a bag here, which I'm actually going to put with the rest of my like, shopping bags. And then my Converse, which I forgot I had. So I'm going to take those downstairs so I can start wearing them properly. And then out here, I've got stuff that I want to get rid of. Um, I need to kind of have a think about what I'm going to sell and what's going to go to the charity shop. Um, but yeah, I've got various things here that I'm probably just never going to wear. It's not perfect, but this is the finished tidy-ish bit of the bottom of my wardrobe. I just don't know what to do, do with shoes, like not many will fit on this rack. So I've put mainly like boots at the top, then like um, trainery type shoes, um, but anything that's like a heel or sandal type high sandal and then I've just got lots of little like dolly shoes and pumps and stuff down here and sort of more like casual trainery kind of things and loafers down there then I've got my flip-flops there um I think I'm going to try and put the bags that were in there up in my top wardrobe because I cleared that out a little bit back and there's quite a lot of space um so yeah fingers crossed they can all fit in there I'm feeling pretty exhausted now to be honest. I mean I've been sat down doing most of this stuff and I haven't even started on the clothes yet. Um, but I'm going to go and have some lunch and just have a little bit of a rest and then come back up after lunch and start on the clothes. Right I'm back upstairs after having some lunch and a bit of a rest. I'm still feeling wiped out. Um, but my next job is to tackle this lot. <laughs> oh, please send help. Why, why, why did I do this? Um, oh, I just find this bit so tiring because a lot of the clothes I want to try on to like 
see if they still look nice or I feel nice in them um, and that is exhausting in itself <laughs> but there's also a lot to go I can't believe it all came out of my like little wardrobe um, but I just I really need to get rid of some of it like some of this stuff I haven't worn for years and I've just been holding on to it and I just need to like let go <laughs> and get rid of stuff but I don't know I just find it so hard to get rid of things I don't know why but I'm gonna see see what I can do the truth, and we'll be anything that we wanna be gonna get what's coming anyway so take me away I'm pretty much done and I am absolutely shattered this has taken me all day with rest breaks and Oh my god, my feet are killing me. I'm finding it hard to breathe. <coughs> but it's done. <laughs> Thank god. Um, so I'll just show you the finished result. Um, and then I'm going to have a little rest um, before I have to go and listen to my mum's choir sing um, at the church. So here's the finished result. It's still <laughs> got a lot in it. Um, but I did this Marie Kondo thing of like rising to the right because she said that it's meant to be more pleasing on the eye and actually I think it is. I quite like the way that that looks. Um, it, I don't know, it just makes it look more organised rather than having like higgledy-piggledy bits at the bottom. Um, I think it looks pretty good. So you've got that and then you've got the shoes and stuff below so you can actually see them now with the whole like right thing. Um, so yeah, I'm pretty pleased with what I've done. I've still got this stuff, which is um, the stuff that was hanging on the outside of the wardrobe. But I think for now, I'm going to put it back on the outside of the wardrobe because I just need to sort through those last bits. Some of these, like the jumpers, I'm not putting in the wardrobe. I need to fold them up and put them in drawers. Um, but I just haven't got time to do that tonight. And I've just run out of energy as well. But at least I know like inside the wardrobe is like nice now and so I can put bits into it um so all I know all I have to do is sort out those last few bits that are like on the outside of the wardrobe and then out here is all the stuff I'm getting rid of so I think I've already shown you the stuff on the floor down here I managed to break a hanger in my hand which was kind of painful um and then all the stuff on this chair um is to go I am gonna try and sell some of it because some of it's quite nice some of it's still got tags um, and then the rest will go to a charity shop hello so I just wanted to come on and finish the vlog it's Sunday evening um, I haven't filmed anything today because um, <laughs> there haven't really been anything to film um, I went to church this morning we have my grandma over for lunch and then this afternoon um, I thought, oh, I'll just watch. Um, I was trying to think of something to watch on TV like because I had such a busy day. Well, <laughs> for me, a busy day yesterday. Um, I just wanted to chill out this afternoon. So um, I thought, oh, well, like start watching one of these series that I've had recorded on TV for ages. So I... Oh, I'm just bloody rush again um i'll talk about that in a minute but um uh, yeah so i thought oh, i'll start watching something and i decided on a program called cheat which was on itv back in march i think um and i haven't watched any of it yet and i thought i'll just like watch the first episode and then like do something else but it was so good i just couldn't stop watching it and it was a four-part like psychological drama and I just watched all of it <laughs> so I binge watched like the four episodes um and it was really really good um I don't know if it's on ITV player or what no what's it called like the catch-up ITV catch-up anymore but it might be on YouTube or something I don't know but anyway I would really recommend it if you like a good like drama psychological psychological drama there's like so many twists and turns and stuff i think i'm gonna probably put it in my current favorites video um whenever i do that but yeah it was really good um and then yeah that was pretty much most of my day um i started feeling quite unwell like this afternoon <coughs> this evening um 
and I've been finding it quite difficult to breathe. <clears throat> um, and I didn't really, I don't know, I didn't really think of anything of it. I thought, oh, maybe it's just my asthma playing up a bit. <clears throat> um, I've taken my inhaler like a couple of times over the last couple of days. Um, and it's, it's not abnormal for me to have like slight breathing problems. Um, so I just kind of, not ignored it, but kind of, that was, you know, went got on with things. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, I've just been feeling more and more crap throughout the day. And then um, my mum kind of came in and, and she was like, she, she was like, she was like pointed at her face, and I was like, "What?" And she was like, "Your face is covered in like <clears throat> this red blotchy rash thing. I don't know. Would you call it a rash? It's not like a raised. It's just like really red and blotchy." Um, and I was like, "Oh, I think I may have had like a mast cell reaction to something. I don't know what because I don't think I've had anything particularly unusual, but um, <clears throat> yeah, still." I've taken some antihistamines and I think the rush is kind of going down, it kind of comes up and goes down, but um, yeah, it's just the breathing tonight, it's making quite, things quite difficult, um, but anyway, um, before I sign off, I just wanted to show you a parcel that I opened earlier today, it actually came yesterday, but I didn't get a chance to open it, so I've opened it today. So it was a really cute surprise parcel um, from my friend Lydia, um, she sent it just because she said that she knew I hadn't been feeling particularly well and she wanted to cheer me up, which was really sweet. Um, it came, like, wrapped in this paper, which I love. Um, it's just, like, Disney with unicorns and stuff, and I'm actually going to save that um, and maybe use some bits, like, in my Project Life album or scrapbooking or something like that, because I just think it's too nice to chuck away. So, yeah, it came in that. And then when I opened it, I saw, like, this makeup bag thingy yeah makeup bag um with like mickey mouse all over it and it's got like a little yellow like quite bright yellow um zip thing and then um i'll just show you i'll get everything out i think from inside and then it'll be easier to show you rather than trying to take things out so inside there was a coconut rescue hair mask um, and also a like de-stress cream rose mask um, there was the necklace which is really cute it's got my initial and like a little mickey mouse on it um, I think most of these things are from Primark as well so um, if you're looking for any of them have a look there um, then got a jelly belly cotton candy lip balm um, a little pink not gonna focus is it <laughs> um let's just hold it over there a little pink nail varnish some false nails i've then got these socks which i saw in primark when i went ooh, a couple of weeks ago and thought they were really cool but i didn't buy any so you got buzz um the alien and woody um and then it did also come with a eyeshadow but it broke i think kind of on in the post um so i've just popped it in a bag because it's uh, leaking a bit i can still use it but i just don't want it leaking all over wherever i put it so yeah that was everything in there and i just think it's such a sweet thing for someone to do um just to make me smile and stuff so thank you lydia if you're watching this so that is the end of this week's vlog i hope you've enjoyed watching if you have and you want to see more please do give me a like and subscribe to my channel um feel free to leave a comment as well it's really nice to hear from you um and if you've got any videos you'd like to see me film do let me know as well and i will see you in another video very soon bye